peace infinite waters diving deep once again we're out here in nature breathing in that gorgeous prana psychic vampires how to become aware and protect yourself against them in life there are three types of people that's right givers those that give takers those that take and in the middle giver takers those that give and take can i get a hello there we got a question in from a woman who says that she feels like her life force energy is being sucked out of her she feels she is being attacked by a psychic vampire she doesn't feel they are a bad person it's just that whenever she is in their presence she feels tired afterwards we all know that feeling right let me share with you what's helped me along my journey because i know what you're going through let's look at the word psychic vampire psychic emanating from the greek psychikos which means of the mental we're talking about the mind here vampire we usually think of someone who is going to bite you and then suck your blood out of you not very nice is it but obviously they won't do that to you so we're talking about mental feeding when someone is feeding off our mental energy let me share with you some of the signs to look out for is someone complaining to you all the time biting your ear off <laughs> lots of problems no solutions lots of gossip bringing you bad news all the time why <laughs> That's a sign they could be a psychic vampire. Another sign to look out for is there is no sharing, no contribution. You are not participating in what I call the law of exchange or the law of equilibrium. So what happens? You have an imbalance on the scales. The third sign is that they are always trying to put you down, never trying to raise you up. The fourth sign is that they instill fear in you. And the fifth sign is that you can't be yourself around them. Now, along my journey, what's helped me become my greatest version is to never externalize my power. Nobody can control you without your permission. Let me say that again. Nobody can control the way you feel internally without your permission. So, how we protect ourselves from psychic vampires is to create energetic boundaries. Don't be afraid to say no. Don't be afraid to say yes if you want to. Find your voice, find your true expression, but more so, don't feel you can offend people. Be truthful to yourself at every single moment in time because the more truthful you are to yourself, now you create more transparency within yourself. You're not lying to yourself. Sometimes we just put up with it. know what you're getting yourself into many times we enter a connection but it's not organic it's not authentic why not because there is no intimacy in our connection you see the more intimate you become with someone they're not going to feed off your mental energy many times when you realize everything is frequency vibration and energy <laughs> so here is you this is you 
and this is the psychic vampire. Now, many times we feel we're running a program which says, give without expectation. That is wonderful. If you can do that, many of us, we're not there yet. So we are the giver, okay? Now what happens when you're just giving to someone who is at a lower frequency to yourself? You raise them up, thanks a lot. Because if they aren't giving you something, if the connection, if the relationship isn't reciprocal, you're gonna help them a lot. You see, what happens when two positive people connect? They raise each other up. Wow. So realize you are making a conscious choice, a conscious decision of who you are inviting into your space. Please, please, pretty please, don't feed your fears. Many times we are around certain people because we want to be validated by them. We are around certain people because we have a low self-esteem. We have low confidence levels. What helped me along my journey was realizing what I was signing up for. Oh yes take responsibility that nobody can harm you without your authority, without your consent, but more so, are you feeding that other person? I share so much with people. Every day I'm making videos, I'm doing counseling. I'm a giver at the same time I'm also a taker because I connect with so many magnificent, beautiful spirits out there. But a lot of us, we just want to give without getting anything back. So what helped me along my journey is that put your price up, baby. Yeah, you are worth it. You are worthy. You are so valuable. And many of us, we sell ourselves short. So looking at it from a broader perspective, here is where it gets really interesting. Ask yourself, question time, what can I learn from this psychic vampire? In essence, all of us are participating in some kind of psychic vampirism. Sometimes I turn to other people for inspiration and they turn to me for inspiration. When we realize we can learn so much from this energy dynamic, is this highlighting something within ourselves, maybe unresolved issues? Do we have to take a look at ourselves in the mirror to see why are we attracting this connection, the same kinds of people. We never attract what we want. We always attract what we feel in our hearts. You're often gonna find a pattern many times that we often feel psychic vampires are in, they are invading our space when we are around certain types of people. Maybe we want to be the hero. We want to save everyone, right? So you have to start questioning your belief system. Am I here just to be a footrest? Or am I here to share with people and be in a mutual exchange of energy? But also, can I learn from this person? Why do I feel this way? And then realize that no hard feelings. You don't have to take it personally. It's nothing personal here. Just move into the environment you want to be in and realize that you are 
in the presence of that psychic vampire for a reason. You've got some lessons to learn. I saw it along my journey. I'm not going to surround myself with people who don't support my vision. Because the people I connect with, I'm going to raise them higher. They're going to raise me higher. I don't have time for meaningless interactions. But you see, on a deeper level, it's just a test. It's just a lesson. We are attracting everything to us. So go to where the resonance is the highest. Go to those who value you. And ask yourself, okay, if I'm, at, if I'm in work, at the workplace, and I feel someone is sucking my mental energy, maybe it's time for me to start questioning, why am I here? How much do I value my well-being? So just remind yourself, you are powerful beyond measure. Look at this scenery behind me. It's beautiful. And I chose to come out here. Today I choose to be happy. That's how to protect yourself. Have fun as well. We're out here in nature, raising the frequency. Infinite waters. Have a wonderful day. Diving deep once again. Stay well. Stay healthy. Peace.